team sideline. It's grind time. Yeah, we on the sideline. West side of Jacksonville is the place to be. You're looking live where they are preparing for a tailgate. They're going to have good eats. And then come on to the field with that drone shot. Whoop, there it is. The defending state champions, the Trinity Christian Conquerors. They're on the field right now getting set to take on the Ed White Commanders. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the west side of Jacksonville. Two uh, local teams going get it for the first time during the regular season in their program's history. I'm talking about the Conquerors and the Commanders. I'm with Chris Porter. Game kicks off at 630, and I don't know about you, but I've been more than ready for a long time for some high school football, and it's all going down tonight at 630. Now, I want to take you back to the air again. We're going to talk about the Trinity Christian Conquerors here. As you know, last year they won the state championship, and their head coach, Verlin Dormany, a longtime head coach over on the west side of Jacksonville, he had a health scare, one that required him to miss a game. Tonight, we're taking you to the heart of the game as he explains why he is just happy for a second chance. Let's go, break it down, get your little water. We're going Indy, let's go, let's go. So, Coach, you're 32? Ooh, yeah, you're 32. Feels like it, too. It does? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this time of year, do you still get the same, oh, yeah. same goosebumps, that yeah, same? Yeah, you know, it's, you know, woke up on Monday morning thinking, man, it's game week. 11 state championship appearances, nine state titles, Verlin Dormady's Trinity Christian Conquerors, year in and year out, are always a part of the championship conversation. The Conquerors won it all in 2021. Speaking of last year, mm -hmm. uh, you had a health scare. Yeah. Um, did, did what you went through last year really change your perspective on being here now, healthy, in your right mind, right spirit? Oh, absolutely. What happened? What put you down for a while? You know what? I was sick and I kept going and it was the weekend of Thanksgiving and I just got up about four o'clock in the morning to go to the restroom and just blacked out. It mm. went face first and just, man, I broke like eight bones in my face. I, um, I, in fact, I broke a uh, vertebrae in my neck wow. and the doctor told me, he goes, you know, you're very fortunate that it only broke the, uh, um, the, um, either the front or the back part didn't break the other part. He goes, because it probably would have been a, you know, quadriplegic or paraplegic. So uh, I was fortunate. Dormany spent a week in the hospital, missing a game for the first time in his career. What was it like for you, being a guy who had never missed a game, never missed a practice, to have your team playing, you had the crucial part of the season, in a hospital bed, having to listen? Uh, I, don't, I don't know that you can describe that though. When you were in the hospital, were your players reaching out? Oh yeah, were they? Oh, yeah. You know, I was getting texts and the kids and, you know, I showed up to practice. Uh, I think that following Wednesday and, uh, um, you know, just hung out with them and got to see them and talk to them. And, you know, it's they, they, they were really concerned. It's over the coaches, you know. Dormany's health scare turned into a teaching moment. Senior running back, Trayon Webb. Adversity, you know, I, I've had adversity throughout my whole high school career, you know, uh, injuries. I've met, battled through injuries and stuff like that. So, you know, it's just adversity, you know, uh, adversity builds character. What did you learn from the situation? Uh, one, not to be so stubborn. How much gas do you think you got left in the tank? Whew, I don't know. You know, 65, mm -hmm. getting towards 66, you know. Yeah. I, you know, I love to see a lot of these kids through, especially the quarterback through, you know, and that's this season a couple of more. Uh, but uh, after that, we'll see. Gus, we're we going to run for this after practice now. You, you're going to pay the price. All y'all going to pay the price for making these mental mistakes. That's the last thing I said before we left the locker room today. Last thing I said. No. Uh, you're looking at the Trinity Christian Conquerors there. All of the players telling me that they were so glad when their head coach, Verlin Dormany, returned. Coach Dormany was quick to point out to me as well. He said that because he's had, he has a great coaching staff, his team was able to move on without a hitch. Now, coming up tonight, a little later, at 530, we're hoping to talk to some of the players and even some of these former Ed White greats who are here on the track tonight because, as I told you, they are planning a prime time tailgate party. And we've got your VIP pass. It's coming up a little later in sports. But a beautiful day for football. I know I'm sweating. It's humid, but I'm not complaining. I love what I do. Let's send it back inside to you guys.